The Edge class is incredibly loaded in the 2025 NFL Draft. We have discussed a number of different players at the top of the class, but we have yet to talk about who I believe is the biggest sleeper in this class for me. The FCS has a number of players who I think could be major difference makers at the NFL level, but one of my favorite players in the draft class is Central Arkansas edge rusher David Walker. Walker has been incredibly productive for the Bears, and after accepting his invite to the Senior Bowl, has an incredibly high chance to be one of the first FCS defenders taken in this draft class. How high could we see Walker go in the 2025 NFL Draft? That is what we will be discussing in today's video. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon page, where for $5 a month, you guys will get exclusive access to my in-depth draft guide with over 550 prospects and scouting reports for every player. Also, if you guys want to take part in weekly polls where you guys will get to vote on which prospect spotlights I do in the future, that can also be found for all the free members on the Patreon. I'll leave that link down in the description below. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys would be interested in seeing in the future. And without further ado, let's take a closer look at David Walker. Walker has been absolutely incredible over the past two seasons for Central Arkansas, and he's put up some unreal numbers. In 2023, he finished the season with 42 total pressures, 9 sacks, 37 run stops, 40 tackles, and a forced fumble on the season. Many people thought he could have been one of the top FCS products taken in last year's draft, but he ultimately decided to go back to school where he was unbelievable in 2024. He finished the year with 55 total pressures, 12 sacks, 46 run stops, 45 tackles, and 3 forced fumbles. He had an incredible 94.2 pass rush grade per PFF, and he has some incredible production at the collegiate level. Walker has absolutely unbelievable athleticism for the position. He is 6 foot 2, 260 pounds and was a player who made Bruce Feldman's freaks list entering the year. His first step off the line of scrimmage is absolutely insane. He is rumored to run a 4.65 40-yard dash, which I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the 4.5s because I think he's that explosive and quick, and he has a 36-inch vertical and has squatted 615 pounds. Walker shows quickness and bursts to get off the line of scrimmage and get into the backfield at the blink of an eye. As a pass rusher, Walker has shown the ability to rush the passer in a number of different ways. He's an incredibly powerful player who has a very strong bull rush because he generates power from his lower body and can completely overpower offensive linemen to get into the backfield. But he also has incredibly active hands who show spins, rips, and swipe through moves. And he has an incredible blend of power and finesse. He's also got great bend around offensive linemen, which I think is incredible, and he's an incredibly advanced rusher. Walker brings some positional flexibility. He's played 4-3 edge with his hand in the dirt, but given his insane speed and athleticism, he has shown the ability to play as a stand-up rusher. He has played both during his time at Central Arkansas, and I think he's a very versatile player who's going to be a dangerous pass rusher at the next level. The big issue that Walker had from time to time was I thought he overshot his run gaps way too often. He's shown some really nice upside as a run defender. Given the quickness that he has, he can get into the backfield really quick and blow plays up, but he had some inconsistencies. He often overextends in the run game, leading to missed tackles. He has a 15.8% missed tackle rate at the collegiate level, which is not something I'd like to see. Walker also showed balance issues from time to time, and there were numerous occasions where he ended up on the ground and completely lost control, which I would like to see improve. The other big concern people are going to have is that he's going up against weaker competition. He hasn't really faced off against any top tackles, and while he has produced at an incredibly high level, there is something to be said about he's been going up against FCS competition. I'm not super worried about it, but it is certainly something to take note of. David Walker is a major my guy in this class. 
He's incredibly explosive, has a deep pass rush tool belt, and has an elite power profile. The small school competition is something that does concern me, but it is worth noting that he's absolutely dominated against every player he's gone up against. He's my number 8 edge rusher in the draft class, and has so much to bring to the next level. I think he's going to fly up draft boards after the Senior Bowl and after the Combine, where he's just going to absolutely dominate. And he's my number 47 overall player in the draft class. In terms of a scheme fit, we mentioned that Walker is an incredibly versatile defender. However, some people are worried about his arm length. He has 32 inch arms, which isn't bad, but I think he may be better suited at playing a stand-up rusher role at the NFL level. He has experience playing both, but given his quickness, bend, and speed, I think he's going to be a perfect outside linebacker in a 3-4 scheme. Given the arm length and the explosiveness, I think Walker reminds me of a more polished, more powerful Chop Robinson. Robinson is an incredible athlete with elite quickness and burst, and he showed the ability to get into the backfield consistently with his quickness. Walker is a more powerful player, and I think he has more active hands, but both of them are slightly undersized rushers with incredible burst and quickness. I think Walker is a better prospect than Chop Robinson was, which I know is a hot take because Robinson was a first round pick last year. I wasn't the biggest Chop guy, but as a play style, as an athlete, and given the size, I think Walker could be a very similar type of player and could be utilized in a very similar role. David Walker is a disruptive rusher. He has explosiveness, power, and finesse, and is a player who I think is going to be awesome at the next level. I'm a big fan of what he can be, and ultimately, I believe that David Walker will be a day two pick in the 2025 NFL Draft.